Welcome back to the Tidarium Hangar. This is Mike, and today I want to talk to you about the Fans Toys FD45 Spindrift 2.0. I want to say that I actually like this figure more in hand than in the pictures. He does look better in hand than he does in pictures. But we're going to have a look at this guy. I did get him at Show Z. You can get yours there too. I'll have a link down below. Let's get into taking a look at Spindrift 2.0. Okay, so here is the box. It looks pretty good. It's very Fans Toys-like on the box. Also, it would fit in very well with your Takara Masterpiece line on the back there. You can see both modes. A nice comparison shot there. But let's compare this box to the 1.0 box, which <laughs> they're cut from the same stone right there. They look very similar. But people want to crack the code to the Fans Toys boxes, and the code is... If it's a drawing like this, then it's supposed to be based on the animation. And if they show the actual product, it's supposed to be more of a real world. That's one of the things that people have been saying. I don't know how true that is. Okay, so first off, I want to show you right out of the box on mine, this flap was down. So you just kind of fold the flap up to fill that gap a bit. And then I didn't have this back piece tabbed in on mine. I don't know if there was a reason for that, but Maybe that, that just came out during shipping or something, but it does make a big difference in how solid it feels when you put that back piece in there. So, so that's the first thing that I noticed getting this thing right out of the box. So getting to look at this figure, he does look pretty good. I, I do like the way he looks more or less, matches the animation pretty well. So a pretty good looking version of Sea Spray overall aesthetically, but Going pretty close to tune, he's not that interesting looking overall, simply because he, he just doesn't have much to make him look interesting. But he does look tuned, and that's kind of, where do you want to go? Hyper tune, tune, and all that. Now, with that, there are two different versions of the head, and you do have to unscrew it to take it off. There's an interesting way to take a look at his two head sculpts, his head sculpt comparisons there. One seems to be a little bit, little bit more rounded off, uh, more tune accurate. And then one's probably a little bit more toy accurate. So anyway, still kind of cool that they give you both options right there. He does come with two of these guns, signature sea spray guns that look okay. They're not painted or anything. Um, I don't think they're painted at all. They just, they, they look fine. They get the job done. And I don't really need an excessive amount of paint on my guns, especially not guns that are this small. But looking at them overall, kind of simple, like I said. I do like on the head sculpts, there's something with the eyes. You can see some paint on the eyes up there. Uh, I do believe that pretty much all of the yellow is painted. Um, the white might actually be painted too. Doesn't look or feel like bare plastic, but it could be just a flecked plastic. I don't know about the blue parts being painted, but it seems like, you know, a lot of paint. They do put a lot of paint. Fans always does a lot of paint on there. Uh, looking at like the flaps here, it's like a one giant waist flap. That's kind of interesting. Uh, something that you usually don't see with fans toys do, but it almost looks like you don't even need a flap the way it's designed, but it's there, I guess, to give you just some more extreme range on it. And then getting down, we do see some transparent uh, glass piece right there, which is gonna be good for the alt mode. And from the back, does look very clean. He does look Pretty clean from the back, so I like that. All around, a lot of good points going for this fella. Getting into articulation, you got the typical head, uh, up, down, left to right. Uh, hard to maneuver, of course, with, with that in the way. But looking at the shoulders, you do get past the 90 and then the 360, which is good. And then you have the bicep swivel, you have just a 90 at the elbow, and then you have the hands that move side to side and open up. They are ratcheted here. So not ratcheted, pinned. Anyway, uh, you can pop him up at the waist and give him a little more height, which would sort of break the sculpt, but I think he's a little too short and stubby, so I don't think this is that bad if you want to give him some height. But it also helps you with some articulation, no ab crunch, I do not see. And that whole mechanism there does feel a little scary, just the way that that works. But anyway, 
Getting down, we can open up this flap and go a little past the 90 back. Not so much. And then you do have a universal joint at the leg. 90, a little past the 90 on the knee too. And pretty much whatever you need to do with the foot. Some tilt forward. So it's, there's a lot going on with the foot. Part of that is the transformation, of course, but of course that's also engineered in to give it some articulation and have a fairly decent transformation going on. All right, so here is the Fans Toys C-Spray 2.0 next to a couple of other options. So this is the G1. This is Hasbro's uh, more modern take. Toy World and Zeta made one that's a little bit shinier. This is the 1.0 Spindrift, 2.0 Spindrift, X Transbox Neptune, and iGears, whatever they call theirs. So let's take another quick look at these side by side each other. Now I kind of have a few comments on each one of these side by side with it, but first of all, I want to say that the 1.0 Spindrift isn't really a bad figure. It's not a horrible figure. The problem with it is too, the alt mode does not really go together very well. It's kind of fiddly. The transformation is not as good as this transformation. And it just doesn't look like sea spray as much as say the 2.0 or some of the other options that are out there. So like when it was out, it wasn't a, a good looking sea spray, although you could tell what it was, but it's not overall a horrible figure. Now you might be able to catch this guy for like 20 bucks. People might be unloading him like crazy right now. Now I always thought the Toy World option captured sea spray the best out of all of them for a while. And part of it is that it's just his, his whole silhouette kind of does match sea spray uh, quite a bit. Let me move his arm down here so we can kind of see all that. But and now we sort of have the same silhouette here, a similar type silhouette, but I do think Fans Toys does it better, way better than the Toy World. But for a while there, Toy World was looking like the, the most screen accurate representation, but still to this day, not horrible, but yeah, this is way better. And then the x Transbox Neptune, which I really like. Uh, it's got a lot going for it, especially a, a better, more interesting look uh, with the way they did, because you can see the windows right here and you don't see that right here. So some stuff just to make it look a little bit more interesting. Uh, still some argument and discussion about which one is more tune accurate. And, and of course, Fan Suisse goes closer to tune, uh, but so does x Transbox. They try to get as close to tune as they can also. But looking at these side by side, this one has a little bit, I don't know, they might have be the same weight. They almost feel the same weight, but I know the fan Swiss one has a bit more heft than I kind of expected there, but I, I guess you should always expect that with it. But you're gonna have to wait till the end of the video to find out which one of these two I like better. These other options just for fun, I always wanna show next to G1 as, as often as I can, so we can kind of see how far we've come in engineering and everything from 37 years ago, whatever. But I also want to say how far we've come in third party from iGear. Uh, when this was out, this was uh, okay, I guess. But also Hasbro's come a long way too. Hasbro's done a great job with theirs. I, I think there's actually another piece you clip into there. But still, really interesting how far we've come. And here's a couple more mini bots that you can look at side by side. Here's how they look together as a, a group or a team of mini bots. Fans Toys, Fans Toys Takara. And let's throw an MP44 in the mix just for a little bit of fun, just to kind of get a, an idea, scale-wise, how it looks. Not bad. All right, let's get this guy transformed up. We're gonna start with the feet. We, you have to untab this carefully, and a lot of these are popping off because of that. Uh, it's just real tight. So uh, sometimes you can get them to go without popping off. Sometimes you can't. So we're going to untab this, fold that out, fold this down, and then we're going to fold it like on a double hinge, fold it around, tab that in. And then you're just gonna put the foot, move this back around and it's gonna tab into, there's a tab here and here into those two holes. We gotta get those tabbed in. There we go. And then the ankle is going to sort of double hitch swing around into place. It's also gonna expose the top of that. So where his 
ankle was is now is covered looks good that piece actually pops up too let's look at the other one and do the same thing now this one we're going to try to be a little more careful and not pop it off but it's not a big deal good good thing they designed it to where if it pops off it's not a big deal all right now we're going to pull this out fold this down and then get a double hinge around plug it in and then come back around here and line up these tabs with the holes same thing with the ankle piece flipping it around and then we can tab all of that good stuff together so we want to pull down on this kind of like what we saw earlier untab the back piece here and then expand it wiggle this down a bit as you can see inside there wiggle it down and then you can rotate it all the way around like so and then that frees it up to it's going to connect there here in a bit now we can lift up this piece here open this take these pieces out like so and then we're going to need to do the arms so let's untab this piece here and then it should all come right out like so tab back in rotate it clip it into place and it's going to be ready to do its thing here in a bit same thing on the other side so we're going to open that out fold this out let's make sure this hand is closed up and then Tab it up, rotate it, there we go. Then we need to re-collapse this part here to get it condensed back down. Let's make sure everything is lined up just right. It's got to collapse all the way. And then These pieces here need to join it together. Same thing on the other side. I don't think I showed it on the other side, but you gotta tab a tab into that hole there, that slot. So uh, that's one thing that keeps, keeps it all aligned a little bit better. And then right here, this is gonna tab in a little bit better. And then once you lower this piece down, then it just all tabs. This top piece tabs into two spots here. On this side, it tabs in two spots there. And that came a little undone. And yeah, now we need to get these filler pieces out and angle them into the slot. Those keep coming out. Angle those in like so for the filler pieces. Same thing on the other side. Angle in the filler piece. And then as each one of these steps goes, it kind of gets a little bit more solid. There we go. And then lifting this back piece up, fold it over, and there we go with a C-spray in his alt mode. Gonna go back and retab everything in just a little bit better, but, but it looks good, it looks good. Here he is in his alt mode, and yeah, I think he does look pretty good. I'm pretty close to the cartoon, if I should say so myself. I think it's a nice looking, very clean, very sleek alt mode in here done very well so uh pretty decent transformation wasn't really that bad wasn't really that hard uh, here he is from the back i do want to say if you leave the original head on it sort of fills that hole in better than the more rounded one the one they add with it so uh it depends on you know how much you're going to have this thing in its alt mode so there it is looking pretty good though i do like it so it does have kind of a uh, the blue has a bit of a, a fleck to it, so that's nice. I like that fleck to it. Uh, also, there's some blue and some yellow and, and not a whole lot else. You've got the white pieces and then the fans, but overall pretty good. Uh, on the bottom, this is kind of some open stuff, but you will need to be open to get to these tabs. I will warn you for putting these guns up top, getting those tabs open, 
that is ridiculously tight. So it takes a lot of pressure and I don't even have spudgers. So that was hard, real hard. But if you have spudgers and stuff like that, I don't think it's that big of a deal. You just push with a spudger and make it happen. But uh, wow, that was hard. Anyway, uh, let's, let's have a look at the rolling aspect. As a water transport, it rolls really well. Alternately, if you want to store your guns back here, you could store your guns back here. Open those flaps, put it in, store your gun. There's a slot there for you to tab it in, or you just lay them in there. They really just kind of hold okay. And then that's another alternate look. If you want to go with that look, looks pretty good also. Either way, you've got options and it's good that they included two guns. All right, so here he is next to the Toy World. I'm, I'm sure you've seen him next to everyone else under the sun, like Neptune and all of those other ones. So next to Toy World, something different that I don't think anyone else is doing. So transformed up to Toy World there. Also, Toy World is an excruciatingly easy transformation. But you can kind of see the differences. Uh, very little of the transparent plastic on this guy, just right in the front. So no windows around here, which kind of is lacking on the fans toys versus some of the other options out there. But it's interesting that I'm using Toy World, so I'm gonna show you kind of an interesting gimmick comparison. They both have options on how you can display the guns in the front like that, so I think that's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting to go about it in different ways. This is just actual guns placed in there, and these are built in on the Toy World, so still kind of a fun, interesting look. And just for fun, let's throw in the little Hasbro Legends. Hasbro Legends one, actually holds up okay. Size-wise, here he is next to MP44, and just getting kind of a look at these guys and how big he is. This is actually a pretty good size figure when he's in alt mode. He kind of stretches out kind of long, instead of the other ones seem to condense down a bit more than this guy does. Looking good next to Prime. Now, I'm not sure if Sea Spray lived long enough to meet either of these guys, but here he is next to Vans Toys Blur, and that's Takara's Hot Rod, the first version, and as you can see, lengthwise and all that stuff. There it is. So this was my look at the Fans Toys FD45 Spindrift 2.0. That's their second take on Sea Spray, a very G1-esque Sea Spray. He looks pretty good, but which one do I like better ultimately? I actually think I still like Neptune from X Transbots. A little bit better just aesthetically but that doesn't mean this isn't a great option a great bot and he does look good so anyway i still got a link down below where you can get this at showsy like and subscribe tiderium hanger out Oh!